Hello again and welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to install a full-size GPU into this Dell Optiplex 390 SFF PC. I'll also be installing an additional case fan and an SSD. After which I'll see how this combo of 2nd gen i5 and RX 550 handles games in 2023. So let's get right to it. So I have here the 390 on the left and a 790 on the right, which I have already upgraded in an earlier video. And it turns out that the internal layout between these PCs is almost exactly the same. And as the GPU I'm going to install is the exact same RX 550, the GPU installation itself is the exact copy from the 790 video. Same thing with the minor front panel modifications I did, so the process is the same. For that reason I'll only go over the front panel and GPU modifications very briefly. For more detail you can watch the 790 video. So if you're going to do something similar to this, the most important thing is to make sure that the GPU or other components in the PC cannot sort themselves out on anything metallic or other conductive material. I had to do several mods to the GPU and the case itself to make sure the GPU doesn't touch metallic parts on the case or the PCB of the memory modules. And again I'll explain these mods in detail in the 790 video and if you want to install this GPU into this PC all of this must be done and must be done properly in order to not get electrocuted, start a fire or break the PC or the GPU. So only do something like this if you know what you're doing. So that out of the way what I did was I used a PCIe X16 extender cable and an HDMI male to female cable to route the I.O. to the back of the PC. I also removed the Dell logo and covered up the hole left behind by the now missing DVD drive. And as you can see here the GPU is installed here in the same way as in the 790 video, except this time I've used an angled HDMI male to female cable. So yeah, the GPU and front panel are installed in the same way as the 790, but there are some things that are different from how I upgraded the 790. So let's take a look at those next. So here is a 120GB SSD which is the boot drive on this system and previously in that place was the HDD. Now I have it here because this HDD was thicker than the other HDD in the 790. It wouldn't fit where the SSD is now and I had to mount it here. I removed all five screws from the cooler and I had to break off this plastic tab to make the HDD fit. I put some tape over the PCIe extender cable where it touches the HDD's PCB. Not sure if it's necessary, I don't know if the material of the PCIe extender is conductive or not. But yeah, that's how I mounted the SSD and the HDD. Now that the original HDD cage has been replaced by the GPU. Now we can move to the final mod I did to this PC and that is an additional case fan. See, as I was fooling around with this PC I just happened to notice that this handle thing that Dell Optiplexes have happens to be exactly the same size as an 80mm case fan. So as if I'm just going to pass up this opportunity to mount an obnoxious and dumb looking RGB fan here, this is a gaming PC after all. So yeah, after fighting with the plastic latch thingy for a while, I eventually got it out of the PC. I used some washers to mount the fan where the latch previously was. This metallic grill that I have attached to the fan is originally from a Fujitsu PC. For some reason always Fujitsu PCs have those grills and I moved this fan grill here because it's much more needed here. This fan is outside the case and somebody might stick their fingers in there otherwise. This fan needs a Molex connector and this PC only offers two SATA cables, which I need for the HDD and SSD anyway. So what I did is I used a Y splitter that splits one SATA into one Molex and one SATA. Oh and since the fan is located so high up, I set it up as an exhaust fan. And when the PC is under stress, it certainly does remove a lot of hot air from the PC.
Now that we are done with all the upgrades and a patch, Windows 11 has been installed on the SSD. Let's see if there was any sense in doing all of these sketchy and time consuming upgrades. So the first game I tested is Vmg Drive at lowest settings and 1080p resolution and all of the games I test here are recorded with the AMD drivers recording tool. This game seems to play pretty well if you select a scenario that has no traffic but with traffic the FPS does drop pretty low so I would say it's on the verge of being playable. Also all the game I test here are installed onto a 5400 rpm hard drive so that does have some effect too on the performance of these games Dropping the resolution down to 900p does give a few more FPS, but the difference is not very noticeable. When driving a faster car, it has to load objects in the game world faster, and the FPS stays pretty much under 30 all the time, so I wouldn't call this playable. Actually, SSD prices are very low at the moment, so maybe now's the time I finally need to consider only installing SSDs to my future builds. Trying Hitman 3 and the Freelancer mode, I can already in the safe house notice that the FPS is quite low and this probably isn't going to work. However, Hitman does support AMD FSR and we can try enabling FSR as well as lowering the resolution.
Okay, so we have 900p resolution now and AMD F02 enabled with the performance preset. And I'd call this totally playable. If this was my only PC, I'd probably play Hitman 3 on it. Okay, so we know that AMD f 2 can do wonders when it comes to low-end graphics cards, but can it save this RX 550 when playing Red Dead Redemption 2? How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so. Get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him. Good shot. Now let's try for another. Yeah, I wouldn't play RDR2 on this PC. With Fortnite it's better to switch on the performance mode right away. So this is performance mode, 1080p and low settings. I would rate this playable, however the FPS does jump up and down quite a lot. It's 100 now, then 40 and then 100 FPS again. Thank <laughs> you. 